get, see, I'm, I'm like, I'm on a mission to get you all to quit swearing. <laughs> I don't know if you swear, but I do know that even really nice people think that their sewing machine is out to get them. But you know, but you know what ends up happening is, is that people start doing something like that, and the first thing that they tell us is they say, my machine is doing this. You treat it like your machine goes out to get you. <laughs> Every time we, we hear, yeah, you, she's a diva, she's a diva, right. And, and then when we say, did you change the needle? Well, uh, you know, we don't change, here's why we don't change the needle. Why, why do you not change the needle? There's actually, we came up with five reasons yesterday. I only had one, but we came up with keep five. sewing. You just keep sewing. <laughs> why else do you not change the needle? You don't stop and think about it. You don't stop and think about it? Those are your ones, too. <laughs> cost. Cost, okay, yeah. Why else? What's it's broken. It, it, okay, that's the number one reason. It isn't broken. You are sure that you, you only change needle when you break it because you're afraid once you change a perfectly good needle that the next one is going to break. Uh -huh. Yeah. And you're going to have thrown out the other one. You're going to throw it into like a mayonnaise jar or something like that. And you're, gonna, you're not going to dig through and look for that. Because honestly, a needle, and I, and I disagree with you, a needle is the cheapest thing. How much are needles for back? $239. But even here, it's 239 you buy three packs, one of those is free. So Paul's going to figure out the math on that, but it's pennies. <laughs> it's pennies, you guys. I mean, it's a, it's a quarter. You know, it's just, now, okay, so there's number one reason how you quit swearing. And the reason you don't change the needle is you're sure the machine's out to get you. Okay. The next thing is, is that I have been sewing since I'm six years old, so I have nothing else to learn. I am going to tell you that the most interesting older people that you meet never stop learning. The most difficult older people that you meet say things like, I've been sewing since I was six years old and I have nothing else to learn. I know how to run a sewing machine. You have a lot to learn. You have a lot to learn. There is always, and, and you know what? Every day that you get up and you say, I get to learn something. <laughs> It is going to be a better day. It, you know, and here's the other thing. Okay, truth. Who reads all the instructions? Raise your hand. <laughs> <laughs> Who reads every word? <laughs> yeah. It's like an owner's manual. Yeah, <laughs> it's a resource. You know that? So you manual. see, even if they wrote better instructions, you wouldn't read them. <laughs> okay? So, so you know, the, the big <coughs> part is how I'm going to get you to quit swearing. Is, is that I'm going to tell you that your machine is there a tool that is just waiting to say, come and love me, make sure I get some new thread, make sure that I get some new needles. There is, pardon and, me, and, oh and my oil. goodness, oil. And oil. Oh, okay. I, I tell you what, when Teresa and I first got our eight series machines, both of us kept struggling with thread breaking and we'd come back and we'd say, why is thread breaking? And Joel said, you're sewing faster, you're going through more you need to oil the machine more. I oil it more. See, I even do it to them. You need to oil it more. You're sewing more, for goodness sakes. You know, and I think, yes, I do. I just learned something. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's, what's a good golden rule for the oil? Oil it more. Don't oil it, don't oil it when you're at the end of your sewing. Oh, at, at, oil at the beginning. If you oil it at the end of your sewing, it pulls the once a day okay, or do you think even more than that? Like, I don't know how much you sew. Oiling your machine affects yeah. your thread breakage. I know. The thing is that we we go to ourselves and we say, the thread is breaking. Why would I have to oil my machine? I'm going to tell you, you need to start believing in Santa Claus again. Just oil the machine for crying out loud. And oil it again and, and realize. And then the other one is, come in and ask where you're oiling it. Because that is also a problem. There are people that we know who have oiled their machine in that hole in the arm on their machine. That hole is a screw hole to screw in an accessory. It goes nowhere. That oil pulls down the bottom of the machine. The techs clean it out and they just think you must just oil your machine a lot and as much as be flying around in there. Okay, so the, the, the answer to that is, is if your thread is breaking, that's part of your oiling machine.